Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Tiny Acorn. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I reached 20,000 subscribers and I'm totally blown away. I cannot believe that I got to 20,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for just liking, sharing, commenting, um, and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you'd ring that bell down below because it really helps me to be able to keep creating fun content for you guys to watch. So for today's video, I am actually going to be sharing my new home with you. And some of you may have watched my video from last week, my thrifting in Tahoe video, where my husband Jason and I shared that we were moving. So in that video, I promised you guys a kind of blank slate home tour. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, the house is still messy and there's still boxes everywhere but I wanted to kind of show you guys what we're working with um, because I'm going to be doing a lot of home decor videos in the future and room makeover videos. And so I want you to see the before. Stay tuned because we're gonna be going to Ikea at the end of this video with my husband and picking up some things for our home, installing them when we get back and just making little updates to the house. So you don't wanna miss it. Alright, so there's no better place to start than the front door. Let's go inside. So when you walk right in, there's this kind of little entryway right here where we have that rug that we got in Tahoe, that antique rug. We took off one of the doors that we need to put in the garage. And then when you come in here, it opens up into a bigger room with a fireplace over there. Our plans for this room are we want to have some sort of dining table or something in here, probably near this beautiful window. All of my plants are here for now just because I don't have anywhere to put them at the moment. Babe, say hi. Hey. <laughs> and that's his little workstation for now. So over here in this corner, we're planning on building out a bookshelf that goes all the way down and Jason wants a little standing desk there for himself. Okay, so over here we have our main living area. Now this room was actually supposed to be a dining room, but we kind of felt like we wanted it to be the living room and I'll tell you why. There's a set of doors on either side. What we want to do is we want to have a sofa bed in here that when guests come over, they can have their own private little area. So we'll be able to close both of those doors. And then there's a door here that leads to the kitchen and that door closes as well. So that'll kind of just close off the space and give people the privacy that they need. We're not sure yet what we're gonna do with the wall. We're thinking about putting up this shelf with plants on it up along the wall. And then this little strange cubby hole here, we are thinking of building out a shelf area where we will put all of our records down at the bottom, um, similar to this Pinterest picture that I found. And we'll put our TV in there too and kind of build out this little entertainment area. Just to be perfectly honest with you guys, I feel intimidated about decorating in here. I definitely want to go a little bit of a different style than we had at our old house. Um, I think a little bit more sophisticated, richer colors. Um, I have some inspiration photos. There's this girl on Instagram. Um, her handle is because things change and I've been obsessed with her like home decor and interior design style, just saving all of these photos as inspo for myself. So that's kind of the style that I'm kind of looking for when it comes to decorating our house. And with this room, the living room, I'm excited because we're going to put down that beautiful Persian rug that we just got in our last video. I think it'll bring a lot of rich, vibrant colors. And that's kind of what I'm going for in this place is darker, richer hues because the floors are dark brown and then I wanna do, you know, those dark, vibrant colored rugs. It's gonna be a journey. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the kitchen, which is right behind me. 
Okay, so here's our new kitchen. Definitely has its own quirks, but it's much bigger than our old kitchen. And it gets a decent amount of light for my plants, which is nice. Um, we definitely have a lot more cabinet space. We actually have a stove and an oven, which we didn't have in our old place, if you can believe that. Um, and then we have our little butcher block microwave over here, little pantry over here, which we didn't have before. And I think in this corner above the sink, I'm gonna be hanging some plants. This wall's pretty blank. Not sure what we're gonna do on it yet, but I do like our little table and chairs here, which eventually I think we'll probably wanna upgrade that. Okay, so that's the kitchen, and let me go ahead and show you guys the bedroom. Okay, so here's our bedroom, and it has such tall ceilings compared to what we're used to in our old place. Right now, we're just using the furniture that we have. Um, we still have stuff we need to unpack in the corner. So this room has two closets, which is great. This is Jason's closet here, and on the other side is my closet. Um, they're really small though, and so I'm definitely gonna need more space than that. So that's our bedroom, and I can't wait to kind of put in all these finishing details and decor and stuff, and just really make it feel super cozy. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bathroom. It's pretty small. I have my pitcher plant in here hanging up because I was taking a shower with it earlier. It needed the steam. Really like the honeycomb floors. I think we definitely want to get a different rug. This one's very old. There's not a lot of space, especially when I'm doing my hair. I've found, okay, I need some sort of shelf or something going on over here to hold extra towels, to hold my curling iron and my caboodle <laughs> with my extra makeup in it. And we don't have any towel racks right now. So we're gonna be putting towel racks on the back of the door here. One thing that I'm kind of bummed about with this bathroom is that it doesn't really get any natural light. I really like to have plants in every room. I guess we'll see, you know, if something survives. If it doesn't survive, then I'll have to like get a fake plant or something because I have to have green. Um, so yeah, I think we're probably gonna put a shelf over here on this side. I had a lot of wicker in my last apartment and I loved it so much. But I just feel like this piece doesn't really go in this particular bathroom. I don't know, something about it, I just feel like it looks kind of like dirty and old for this space. And I think I might wanna go a new route, like maybe like metal, gold, and glass, and like really minimal. So I guess we'll be on the hunt for something else. And I also, need to get a new shower curtain because this one's actually too short. It doesn't reach all the way across. With a new shower curtain, I feel like that's kind of setting the mood or the tone for like the style you want in your bathroom. Lots of decisions to be made. I think I'm gonna be looking at a lot of Pinterest home decor stuff and just try to get inspired. All right, so there's still one last room that I haven't showed you guys right off the kitchen. This is where I'm going to have my YouTube area. I'll be shooting a lot back here. I'll also have a wardrobe that we're going to build out, probably from Ikea because it's very customizable. But I think we might go to Ikea today and like take a look at the wardrobes and like just kind of like touch and feel the stuff to see if it's the right size and then we'll go from there. We might try to piece something together with secondhand pieces that are being resold on Craigslist or we might just bite the bullet and purchase it now because there's a lot of stuff that I cannot unpack until I have somewhere to put it. <laughs> it's right through this door here. Right now, I just have my silver rack here with my clothes hanging up on it. And as you can see, I definitely need more closet space. There is a closet here. It's a very awkward closet. The bar goes all the way back to there, but then it's hard to reach that stuff back there because the wall. So I'm letting my husband take this closet. So ideally the wardrobe would go up along this whole entire wall back here. It would be where I could organize all of my stuff and my goodies. And there's really beautiful light in this room. And so I think I'd also be filming in here. 
So this room has kind of become a catch-all room right now for us while we're trying to get unpacked, but it will slowly but surely get more and more organized. Probably put a desk back here too. I'm excited to see how it's all gonna come together. So our backyard is back here. Okay, so you guys saw the whole house now and I just kind of want to go around and show you guys a couple of things that I have my eyes out for, things that I want to pick up um, either from Ikea or just when I'm out and about. So the first thing that I want to do is get rid of these ugly trash cans and I want to get something that um, is a little bit more sleek that'll sit right in the same spot. It'll be stainless steel and it'll have two compartments because these are just not working for me. In this corner over here, there's kind of this like ugly holes where there used to be a shelf. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe just throw a shelf back on there. That way it'll cover the holes up. I know that we also need to get a new dish rack because ours is having some flooding issues. I'd also like to get one that's a little bit bigger. Maybe that would fit perfectly within this size. In the bathroom, I am looking for a shelf or a rack or something to go here that I can put my curling iron and blow dryer on when I'm using it and also something that we can roll up our extra towels and put those down there. I also want to put a hand towel rack here and two towel racks on the back of the door here and it'd also be really nice if I could find some sort of shelf or something for this area here. And for the living room we need a lot of <laughs> stuff in here. Um, we want to get a new couch that turns into a sofa bed so that we can have guests stay over. So that's definitely gonna be a big purchase. And then we want to get a new coffee table because this is not in good condition. Things in the bedroom that I need, I would really like to get some lamps for either side of the bed. So number one priority right now is getting a wardrobe. Once we do that, this whole space is gonna get clean a lot quicker. The last thing is we would like to get a dining room table for this room. Ideally, we'd like something that has leaves that we could extend. So now that I showed you guys my place, we're gonna pop over to Ikea and check out the wardrobe and also see if we can find any of the items on our list. What I really hate doing is going to Ikea and just putting a bunch of crap in your cart and then checking out and getting home with all of this cheap plastic stuff that you don't need. And I really want to avoid that. So that's why I want to be really intentional with a list of the things that we need and only get those items. Say hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> you ready to go to Ikea? No. When we get there, you're going to put everything in our cart. You're going to be like, we need this, babe. We need this spatula. We need this yada, yada, yada. We need a waffle maker. Cause you always do that when we go to Ikea, you try to buy everything. And I'm always like, no, put it back, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fun when we go to Ikea. Uh, because I know we have a budget. We've arrived. Too short. Too short. Too firm. Too small. Too hot. Too cold. I need a huge one. A huge. You can design your own wardrobe here. Cool. Which I already did that online. Really? It's pretty cool. So I kind of want to just check out all the features and then feel some stuff. Feel some stuff. So this is like the bare bones. And then you can add on whatever doors you want and like any features and stuff you want. Is this video sponsored by Ikea? No, I wish. <laughs> I think because 
it's San Francisco and there's no good closets in any of these houses, that this is like the busiest area. It's the poppin' area. Everybody's in the wardrobe area. Okay. I don't know what to do. It's also overwhelming. Do you want a hug? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the plan is to just build it out online, have them deliver it, and measure stuff at home. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Okay, that's what we'll do. So I want something like this for our bathroom, but I don't want black, I want like a white one, which there's a white one over here actually. Ooh, wow. I don't know, I kind of don't really like this one. Yeah. But we were looking at some on Amazon today and we got some gift cards to Amazon for Christmas, so I think we're just gonna get one on Amazon. These dish racks are too small. Oh, that one looks big. But you have to slide this out and empty it so it doesn't drain. Just to line the drawers, because our drawers are nasty. Our drawers are fine. That's another one of the things that we don't need. No, I want it. <laughs> this is kind of like what I want, something like this. It looks like it has leaves, so you can pull it out. It's extendable. That could work. Babe, this one's extendable. You're extendable. Never mind, he doesn't like it. We're gonna get a unique table. You were the somewhere. one who was like, you know how I like unique things. I know, I do want unique things. You said it. I don't want a bunch of just Ikea basic stuff. <laughs> Those will be so cute when we get an actual table. I like these, so pretty. I like all these different colored glasses. But then I feel like I could just go to a thrift store and get something like that. Clean the toilet. Our first purchase. Put it in the cart. It's just kind of flimsy. Two of those for the back of the bathroom door. You want to? I mean, the ones at Home Depot are like twenty dollars per. This is seven. That one's only seven ninety nine. We should probably do it. Okay, so we're gonna get these two hooks. One's gonna be for my bathrobe in the corner behind the door. I love this basket section. That's nice. More shelves. So we're in the lighting section now, which I do want some lamps for our bedroom, but I kind of want to thrift them because they'll be cooler and more unique. We want to get some of these, but we're going to wait on it until we hang up the rest of our art. Oh, I've been looking for something like this for my spoons. <gasps> okay, I have tried to thrift something like this for months and months and months now, and I haven't been able to find anything, so I think I might get this for my spoons in the kitchen. So I'm really happy we made it out of Ikea, and we're just going to get these five things. So this line has been so long. Jason had to get me a hot dog. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Did you get one for yourself? No, I got some mac and brood. Okay, so I know we didn't get everything on our list, but I feel like that's just kind of how it goes. Realistically, when you move into a new space, it's going to take a while before it really starts to feel like home. And you know, we have a lot of projects planned, painting and building bookshelves and entertainment <laughs> units and whatnot. And those things will take time. So I hope you guys will stick around. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell and hit the notifications so that you're notified whenever I post a video. Because I'm gonna be redoing all of these spaces and sharing them with you guys which is gonna be super exciting I cannot wait also if you guys are interested in checking out the house that we just moved out of make sure to watch the video there thank you guys again for all of your support and for helping me get to 20,000 subscribers you are all, all the best if you're not following me on Instagram yet my handle is tiny acorn I post extra content on there so I'd love to see you over there Okay, ladies, thank you so much for watching again, and remember that you're beautiful just the way you are. Mm -hmm.